Yeah. What's good, y'all, ladies, gentlemen, kings, queens? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling today? We got rappers' most disturbing last recordings from Trapologists. You know what I'm saying? We back. So let's get smooth to it, man. One rapper predicted his death with his last recording, oh, and another okay. lost his life on a ring camera recording. These are rappers' most disturbing last recordings. First, we gotta start with a rapper from Chicago named THFTP, because in his last recording, he lost his life in front of his family on February 8th, 2024. THFTP had just picked up his daughters from school and was walking down the street with a woman who was allegedly his girlfriend. They were on the west side of Chicago until two shooters pulled up and started firing at TP. It's unclear what THFTP did, but they wanted to gone because you can hear how many rounds they let off tp lost his life in front of his daughter who ran away screaming while their father lost his life after the shooters let off over 20 shots to end tp's life they hopped back in the car and sped off after thf tp died some of his ops started posting the video of him where he lost his life and 051 driller made a post on ig saying i don't want to hear none of that crying about that video because when my video was going around it was on every op page but now Let's move on to Jada Youngin, because some say he predicted his own death uh -uh. in the last snippet that he ever posted. And it's pretty disturbing. Because on July 26th, 2022, Jay posted a snippet, and in the song, he raps, In my sleep, this get creeped to my ops come and run down on me. Same, used to ride my, like to talk down on me. There's none but bad energy surrounding me. In my sleep, this get creepy, see my ops come and run down on me. Same, used to ride my, like to talk down on me. And literally, a day after posting the snippet, Jay would end up losing his life. On July 27th, 2022, Jay was sitting outside of a house in Bogalusa with his dad, having some drinks, when a truck pulled up, and three hopped out, ran up on him, and started letting off shots. Jay's dad started firing back, while he and Jay tried to get inside the house eh. for cover. But that's when two more shooters came up from behind the house, and started oh. letting off shots too. By the time it was over, Jay had been hit up at least eight times, and was unfortunately pronounced dead at the hospital. Rap fans were shocked when the news broke about Jay's death. The family of the victim, Javaria Scott, known as Jay the Youngin, they say that he was standing outside of his home on Superior Avenue when someone opened fire, killing the rap artist. WDSC News reporter Shay O'Connor spoke to Scott's grandfather. Everybody, he man. says he wants justice. But Jay the Youngin isn't the only rapper who predicted his death. XXX Tentacion did oh. the same in many recordings. And his last recording before his death is pretty disturbing since he was being stalked by the guys who took his life that whole day. Because before before his death, X had a phone call with Adam 22 and Adam asked X when he planned on dying. And this is what he had to say. What? When do you plan on dying? <laughs> Probably like 25. And this what? is what he had to say. What the fuck? I don't day. Because man, before his death, shit. X had a phone call with Adam 22 and Adam asked X when he planned on dying. And this is what he had to Wait, say. When? He was Hold being on, stalked by the guys who took his life that whole day. Because before his death, X had a phone call with before. Adam 22. Okay. And Adam asked X when he planned on. On June 18th, 2018, X went live on Instagram to talk to his fans and when? he spoke more. On June 18th, 2018, X went live on Instagram to talk to his fans and he spoke more about his death. And what he had to say was pretty disturbing because he talks about how he knew he might have died in a tragic way. All right, let's say worst thing comes to worst, I f die a tragic death or some and I'm not able to see out my dreams. I at least want to know that the kids perceived my message. On the same day after recording that live, X would end up losing his life. Later that day, X went to a motorcycle and boat dealership in Deerfield Beach with his uncle. That's when a dude named Dedrick Williams saw X's car that and called up so some of his crazy. partners to pull up to see if X was really there. Around 3.30 p.m., a security camera called Williams and a man named Allen followed X into the shop. They walked past X while he was checking out some motorcycles and bought two black masks. X and his uncle left the dealership about 30 minutes later. And that's when all four of the guys allegedly blocked X's car in with their SUV. Then two of the men hopped out and robbed him. One of the men grabbed a Louis V bag with $50,000 in it, while another snatched X's chain. X's uncle ran off during the situation, leaving his nephew alone. That's when one of the robbers ran back to the SUV and shot X six times, ending his life. And what's even more disturbing about the situation is that X predicted his death and was being stalked by the guys who killed him the whole day while shopping for a motorcycle. Now, let's move on to this run. Wait, I'm confused. I never heard about that. I never... He went... Wait, am I am I getting shit mistaken? Was it the same day he went live? 
That's so crazy. The niggas find him because he he was live. And another thing, it's so crazy how you could just be unaware of like the fact that this nigga was just chilling in the shit. You know what I'm saying? Knowing his status. You know what I'm saying? Just just people walking past you. You know what I'm saying? You look them in the eye. You look them dead in their face. Whole time, them and the niggas. That's about the, you know what I'm saying? That shit is so crazy. That is so D. I'm not gonna lie. RP, man. Shit crazy. One rapper from Mississippi who had a disturbing recording mm -hmm. where he nearly filmed himself getting hit up on Facebook Live. Because the, the rapper is on live. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Nigga leg went up. Disturbing recording where he nearly filmed himself getting hit up on yeah, niggas just showing. Right. Facebook Live. Because the rapper is on live, letting everyone know that he's one of the hardest rappers from Mississippi. I know I'm, I'm like, I swear to God, I'm the hardest <laughs> from Mississippi. He then goes Bobby? on to say that Mississippi is cursed. They cursed, got, <laughs> when got, <laughs> got, good, got shot, the helicopter trying to break down, bro. I know we hurt. On my mama. That's not my B. On my life. I thought that was that fucking YB song. That's what, sound, that's what this song sounds like. I thought that was like, tell me, uh, 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 uh. I don't know. If, if, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I probably sound like I'm yapping to everybody else. My bad. Rumors. I know it hurts. And it's pretty disturbing because not long after saying that on the live, someone pulls up and starts hitting at him, which makes it seem like it actually is cursed. When love and vibe, I tend to run because I ain't used to that. Drink the drugs and on the pain and put me in the d No. But this next situation is even crazier because a rapper from Florida known as Wavy Navy Pooh got hit up while driving. Wavy, his family. Navy Wavy came Pooh. up in Liberty City, a neighborhood right. in Miami where he was surrounded by violence and criminal activity. Wavy said in an interview, it feels like every week someone he knows got killed. Once he started doing well with his music, he started dealing with hatred and jealousy. In May 2020, mm. Wavy was chilling with some of his partners until some of his ops pulled up and shot at the group of guys. Wavy was hit in the leg, but he survived and ended up firing back in self-defense. The police used this situation to link Wavy to a bunch of shootings in the Miami-Dade oh. area in the previous year. And it was not until January 14th, 2022, that Wavy would experience a disturbing situation that would change his life forever. Wavy was riding around Miami in his black Toyota Camry with a woman and two kids. The four came to a stop at a red light when a gray car pulled up next to them and let off 80 shots into the car, killing Wavy. The woman and the two kids came out uninjured, but traumatized oh. by what they just witnessed. You can even hear the shots? gunshots on the dash cam recording of a nearby officer, and it's pretty disturbing. And this next rapper situation is even more disturbing. 80 shots, nigga. You would have thought niggas was trying to tear the V apart. Man, I'm so damn surprised. Them, I don't know if they was just spinning for the intended target and then got what they wanted, or if they just missed the the, the other, you know what I'm saying, inhabitants of the vehicle by, you know what I'm saying, the grace of God. But that's crazy. 80 shots, bro, and only one dead out of. I don't know how many said. I would assume four. He said he said kids and then a woman. So I don't know. Whatever. Reimburse my bad. Since he went on Instagram live and basically Crazy. asked for his ops to come take him out, a Florida yeah, rapper named Rolly Bands shit. dissed his op on IG. It ended up getting killed five minutes later on July twenty second, twenty twenty two. Rolly hopped on Dumb IG shit. and dared the ops to come try him if they won't smoke. He made a post saying, "A lot of these know where I live at for real. I sleep in peace if a." Well, smoke, I'm at my crib in five I minutes. I think I heard about this Literally, song. five minutes later, Rolly oh went walking gosh. his dog outside of his apartment when a shooter went pulled up on him dog and started running off shot. You summoned niggas to your old destination and went to walk your damn dog. Are you damn crazy? Oh, yeah, nah, niggas be bullshitting. I'll never understand, bro. Niggas doing shit for the internet will never not fucking... That should be fucking frying me. Oh, my damn gosh, yo. When a shooter pulled up on him and started letting off shots, he tried to run off, but the shooter hopped out of the car and chased him down. 13 yeah. rounds went off, and Rolly got hit in the I body and back of his head. He was rushed to the hospital, but there was nothing they could do for him, and he was tragically pronounced dead that day. Just five minutes after Rolly posted that if someone wanted smoke, I definitely they could come to his home. When they arrived, authorities say they found Benz, who was in his 20s, 
shot dead in the parking lot of the IQ apartment on Bruce B. Downs Boulevard. Now, let's move on to King Von, because moments wow. before he died, he had one last recording on IG Live. Everyone said the live seemed off since King Von was acting weird and not saying much on live as he usually does on live, because Von was just sitting in the club staring at the camera on live. <laughs> Yo, people still do it, but the whole wave when it first started of people, random fucking losers going to niggas shit, telling niggas that niggas died. Yo, that shit is still fucking baffling. That shit is mind bogging. Yo, I ain't got no words. You fucking loser ass weirdos. That shit is so fucking insane. Rumors. That's probably why he ain't saying nothing. Like it's type of bullshit. Music blasted in my ears and they just later into the live, things got even weirder because people started spamming R.I.P. Uzi, even though Uzi isn't dead. Not like long after fuck? getting off live and leaving the club, King Vine spotted Quando Rondo just chilling and decided to run up on him. Vine started swinging on sight. It sparked a crazy fight and both sides started know, letting off shots. And Quando Rondo's homie, Lil Tim, let off one shot that would end up taking Vine's life. After Vine's death, his manager, 100K Track, went on an interview with DJ Academics and spoke on the situation. And he says Vine wasn't in his right state of mind that night. Security didn't know what was going on. His guys didn't know what was going on. He literally off instinct and just, just not in the right state of mind, just jumped out and went to the situation. Like I said, he didn't even know where so-and-so was. Like, that's how unprepared the situation was and him saying that is what makes his last ig live even more disturbing but now let's move on to probably That's one of the most wrong. disturbing situations hmm. ever caught on live indian rare boy is a rapper Stop. and gang member right. from california associated with the inglewood bloods who's known for beefing with the rolling 60 crips because a member of the inglewood bloods even defaced nipsey hustle's mural and tagged his name over his name to let them know who did it and the nipsey's people didn't take this too well so they made a Pop video Jason. telling the bloods if they don't punish the guy named capone who did that they're going to take things into their own hands you got an issue coming your own homies gonna beat the brakes off of you you feel me because you got homies that love them and you gonna come over here and put this baby Capone shit. All right, I bet you gonna change your name today. Shit. I bet you that. Y'all need to y'all need to beat that shit right now before the homies mine up and and, and, and come do some dumb y'all. Not long after that video, Indian Red Boy got into the situation, defended Capone, and went on to diss the Rolling 60s. But not long after all of this, Indian Red Boy was chilling in his car, laughing I with Capone on Instagram Live. But out of nowhere, you could hear shots going off in the background. Like, you ain't got nothing on you right now. What would you do, fool? Damn, about that, fool. Red Boy is then seen gasping for air. So Capone asked him for the location he was at. But Red Boy could barely make out the words, Hawthorne before passing away. Since the defacing of Nipsey's mural brought a lot of attention to the two of them, many people assume that this incident was their way of getting payback. But some say that's not true, since you have other people saying that he was shot over since he had switched on his gang. In fact, G's last recording is very disturbing as well. Fat G's is a rapper from right. Philly who lost his life in front of his house with the whole thing being caught on his doorbell camera. Fat was even cool with Meek Mill and he was starting to get a buzz in the city. He ended up clicking up with a gang from his side right. of town called Zoo Gang. The gang beef was getting pretty crazy Fetty because walk. one day some of Fat Sops pulled up to his mom's crib and shot it up. He even spoke about the situation in an interview. My little brother got shot, like, my little brother got shot, bro. I was shit, like, on Toro Uzi, I just dropped back to the basics. I was shaking, bro, like, I was confident with money, like, on music. But my little, I drop a album, bro, and two days later, nigga, shoot my house up. But on March 17th, 2024, things would get crazy, because Fat was chilling outside his mom's house until he noticed someone odd on his ring camera. So he went up to talk and asked who they were, since he Hell didn't want another nah. shooting to go down at his crib. In front of the house, what's wrong with you? And I knocked through this door in the house, who you looking for? This talking about go ahead. He just told me to go ahead. Fat then tells someone on the phone that he's about to flame the dude's car, since he didn't know who it was. Not long after, Fat kept talking to the dude in the car. The driver eventually upped his gun on Fat and let off several shots, ending his life. In front of my door, I'm about to flame this. All that talking, all that. Like, I'm about to flame this car right now. I don't know what's up with cuz. Man, you go up to the nigga to argue and shit. Bro, somebody shot 
Bro, are you listening to what I'm saying, bro? Somebody hit my crib up before, bro. You sitting in front of my door, bro. You hit his crib up. Yo. What is wrong with him? The video is very disturbing, to... and unfortunately, Fat lost his life this way. But in this next clip, we have this one. Shit just made me jump. This nigga like random. You got the commentating nigga fucking randomly burst the energy loud as shit. I'll be doing the same shit. How about? But damn, bitch. Shit got me. I ain't gonna lie to jump me. I'm just trying to hear what the fuck happened. I thought the shot would just been. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to hear what the fuck they saying. And then I'm hearing another damn voice, and these niggas I can't hear them more. Like, man, don't piss me the fuck off. You know what? Fuck this clip. Next. A local rapper who was sitting in the car with his family while on live. But in his next clip, we have this one local rapper who was sitting in the car no, with his no, family while on live until some of his ops snatched him out of the car and shot oh. him several times. Because at first, you can see the man just vibing to the music. You chilling in an unlocked door? I mean, unlock cars, excuse me. Seconds later, you hear someone snatch the doors open and the man's girlfriend starts screaming as the shots are going off. And that's with how you move, especially if you're making a name for yourself in the streets. But you also have to do the same in jail. And unfortunately, oh rapper right. Money Sign Suede lost his life for moving wrong in prison. And another rapper almost got poked to death while yep, behind bars. So Next click this video to see rappers like, up, most nigga, disturbing know. moments behind we bars. We know. We know. We already been there. Watch out, nigga. Whatever. Respect. You know what I'm saying? Pre appreciate the, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you bringing this video to us, you know. Hey, man. A lot of wicked going on, man. Y'all niggas. Stay safe, man. Anyways, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Like, subscription, get in tune. Y'all take it easy. Good bit, 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 bit. Good bit.